Okay. What we're going to use in this one is a set model. Set models are tangible objects such as two color counters, unifix cubes, snap cubes, anything that would be tangible in, in terms of students being able to pick it up. This would be a concrete model. What you would do is have students do it concretely for a while, then you would have them do it concretely and draw what they did, and then eventually your ultimate goal is for them to use concrete models, draw what they did, and write it abstractly. You're going to see the CPA model right here on this piece of paper. All right, students may or may not have a working knowledge of common denominators to create the model, but the good thing is they're going to start to see that they're going to create models that are used based on the denominators. What I mean is, well, you and I both know that the common denominator is 12, but the power in the, this model is that they don't necessarily have to grasp that yet to do this model. All they need to know is that they're going to use their denominators to create a 4 by 3 model. So I'm going to do 4 columns and 3 rows. That's going to represent my one unit. Okay, and I'm going to do that again. over here. Now for this unit I want to shade 3 out of 4 and over here I want to shade 2 out of 3 and we're going to talk about combining these. Alright, students are very good with halves, fourths, and thirds when they're using a type of concrete model. For the first one I want to shade 3 out of 4. Well students, where are they going to see the 4? They see the 4 in the columns. So they know that they need to shade or they can use objects that match in one color to show 3 out of 4. Over here in this model, they're trying to shade 2 out of 3. Well, where do they see the 3? They see it in the 3 rows. So they want to shade 2 out of 3. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how to combine these. Well, the only way that I can combine them is by filling these 3 empty circles or filling these four empty circles. So do I have enough counters to do that? I do. So I'm going to take these three counters right here and I'm going to put them over here. And the reason I did that is now that I can see that I have one hole. Then I need to come back over here and see that I have one, two, three, four, five, five out of a total of 12. Now, if students aren't readily going to combine them by moving them, they can also count them and say, well, this one is 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 out of what makes the unit 12. If students are giving you these type of answers, these are completely acceptable. Then what you want to do through questioning strategies is ask students, is there any way you can move counters to make a hole? And they will readily say yes. Then you allow them to tangibly move their objects and then progressively you will get them to 1 in 5 twelfths.